Uh, okay, so a quick little demo on the Friday afternoon. Um, we have two different kinds of operators now that pull data from the internet. We have uh, the hypothesis that we've had for a long time. What's new is that it has its own content type and we also have now the opportunity to preview operators. So here we want to pull in the uh, hypothesis annotations from the SNA at hashtag. So le let's look at how that looks like. And here we see the kind of annotations um, that it would pull in. We see the little hypothesis logo there. We could of course style this much nicer. Um, we have this other operator that will pull in any kind of RSS feed. So we can add multiple. I've added my blog and a German ed open education blog. Uh, again, we can uh, pull these in. Uh, we see here the thumbnail view. Uh, we can pull it up and because um, you know, this is just HTML, HTML, we actually get the whole blog post in a nice format. Um, as I mentioned, this could be styled much nicer in the future. Um, so this looks good and I'm pretty happy with this. So what I want to do is, as you see, I've configured, I'm, I'm going to have max 20 items of this blog post. Um, so I want both of these things um, and I'm going to um, distribute them to my students. So I want to send, um, let's say, 10 items each um, to different students. And I want them to kind of look at these um, and then I'll have a chat that's for the whole class. So let's um, see if that works. So I'm going to just uh, restart this graph now. Um, and I'm going to press play. And we see it takes a little bit of time because it has to actually go and contact these internet servers. But there we are. Now let's wish it go to one of our students and let's pull up another student. And here we see two students, Peter and Alf. Um, as you can see, uh, they're looking at different content because this was distributed. Um, you see here different content types. So if I, uh, so the hypothesis uh, annotation really cannot be zoomed in on because this is all it, all there is. Um, a blog post, however, I can open it. Uh, I can zoom in, and I can actually, you know, go read the whole thing. In this case, it's um, it's actually zoomed in in line, but of course we could also have it. Uh, uh, zoomed in in some other way. Um, I can of course vote up the things that I think are more interesting. I can maybe delete the ones that I don't think are very interesting. Um, but you know w what we want is to promote uh, collaboration. So you know what if these guys actually find something really interesting? Maybe they want to share it. Um, so this guy might say, uh, "This is a really cool podcast," um, and he wants to to share this thing. So you know he could just pull it there, and boom. Um, here is Alf in another browser window, as you can see. Um, he just got this um, RSS feed in his chat. Um, and of course, if he wants to read it, he can click on it um, and he can uh, he can read it. Um, but, you know, let's say he, he thinks this is really cool. So he wants to add this to his top 10 list. Um, so I'm going to just have to actually make this window bigger because of the layout. So, you know, he can take it here, pull it in there. Boom, he wants to word it up, and now it's on top. Uh, of course, this works also for uh, student-generated content. So let's say I wanted to add um, an image. Or um, let's say I wanted to add, um, you know, kind of a compo compound item with, uh, these are some of my ideas. Um, what do you think? And again, we can, uh, you know, take. Uh, we can upload a file, and uh, we can, uh, yeah, take another image. Great, and we can add this. And now, of course, we want to share this back to our friend on the other side. And uh, oh, there it is. And now our friend on the other side would like to add this to his list there. And again, voila. And we can go and uh, we can zoom in, we can download this file. See, I can. Yeah. So that's it. Have a good weekend.